So, welcome back to another video. Thank you for any new subscribers and new viewers. We're out with uh, my almost 12 month old Springer Spaniel Winston and my six year old Danza. Both, as you can see. English Springer Spaniels. This is the first time you're clicking on the videos. And uh, a couple of things we're going to talk about on this really nice but surprisingly chilly Saturday morning. And that's um, training and some of the best Wellington boots a man can buy or a woman so first of all we're at the Studley Castle again if you watched I think my previous video we we were here I say it's chilly we've had some really good weather lately but I've just woke up this morning and I've had to put my coat on I'm still a little bit chilly, but the weather's still a little bit up and down at the moment in terms of rain and sunshine. But hey, video's on the GoPro as well. I'm giving the GoPro a go. Hopefully it can pick up some nice shots. But hey, yeah, so training. So, um... So Winston is currently going through some gun dog training. It's been a challenge for me. Um, but uh, he's doing all right, he's doing all right. Um, in terms of where we are, we've just passed our, well, two, three, three weeks ago, we passed our level one dog training, which is, ba is very much the basics, gun dog training, which is, Walking on a heel, uh, walking to heel on the lead, walking to heel off the lead, uh, a basic retrieve, a scene retrieve, um, stop to the whistle on the lead, and a couple of other things. So, you know, if you practice, um, eventually, you know, your dog will, your dog will do those things. And uh, Winston did just get through here. Everything's super overgrown around here as well. There's not many people that walk around here, so it does get overgrown. But I just thought I'd show you this bit. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through there. Of course we can. Just have to watch the... Ah, just got caught by brambles already. Right. Oh, and my leg. Um, no, we won't go that way. Come on. Just because the brambles are really high and I can't be bothered with having to deal with stingers and nettles. I say brambles, they're nettles. They're everywhere in the UK this time of year and I don't fancy getting stung by them and having to deal with that for the rest of the day. So yeah, anyway, back to the um, back to the training situation. So he passed that, and then I thought, well, he did so well in passing that that um, I'd give him a week off in terms of uh, walking. Because the basics, the usual schedule with Winston is um, he'll get walked in the afternoon with Danza, just a normal walk. And then when I get home, after I finish work, that's when he has um, an additional bit of a walk and also um, 20 minutes to 30 minutes of gun dog training, of training, should I say. Um, and basically the routine stopped because when I took him out, I'd just take him for a walk, we'd play with the tennis ball, throw the tennis ball, and I just decided to do that. 
All right. Bear with me. Yeah, so I decided to just give him a week off. Probably a bad idea. But I thought, you know, he'd done so well. And um, as much as I see that he can, in he does enjoy the training, it was also a week off for me as well because the level one was every Tuesday. And after the Tuesday, you were kind of given a bit of homework to try and improve in the next, the next training session. And then the next training session would be made up of refreshing what you did last time and practicing and then going on to the next bit. So, and the last session, they introduced him to gunfire, which he didn't really like that much. So he was, I, I thought, you know, let's just give him a week off. He can forget about the last training session, despite ending on a high because we got him to socialise and he was chasing around and everything. So we did that. And then I forgot that half term started. Half term in the UK is, a, is where the kids have a week off, um, a week off school. Um, and... Uh, and it just messed up the schedule and messed up the routine of Winston. So he's, at, he's officially had two weeks off. And the long story is that during those two weeks, what I would do is I'd bring the two dogs out, we'd throw the tennis ball and they'd go and find it. But Winston, unless he's in gun dog training mode, doesn't necessarily bring the, gun, the, the, the tennis ball back. He kind of likes to hoard it. Um, there's still a little bit of a trust issue between me and him in terms of that. But when, when we're training, it's completely different. He, he kind of knows he's got to bring it back. Nine times out of ten he does, or nine and a half times out of ten he does. He's probably got a better ratio than nine times out of ten. But, um, but um, so first day back, I thought, right, let's do some basic retrieves. And uh, he didn't bring the retrieve back, which at this stage is a little bit worrying. A little bit worrying, but so got a little bit frustrated, um, and then thought, well, because I'd just come out here, literally come out here. So I was throwing it, and he was sort of hiding it over there somewhere, or hoarding it over there. And all I thought was, after well, in reflection, I thought, well, he probably must think we're just still we're in play mode. We're not in training mode. So um, again, guys, when a, bit, a little bit of advice, I mean, I'm no expert in terms of gun dog training, but just take it all the way back to basics. So I found like a little alleyway, um, not, on, not on the street, like, um, let me just see if I can show you somewhere, which, which would be an example. Basically just an alleyway where he hasn't got the opportunity to, to hide the, Retrieve away. Bit of a shake, Dan's. So, whereas he doesn't have the opportunity. So, as you can see here, it's all open. So, what I did is I used that kind of area where there's a fence on either side. Come on, we'll go this way. I just did a few very basic retrieves as soon as he brought it back. Lots of praise, and that kind of got him back into the mode again. So, yes, yeah, so if, if anybody else is watching this and has experienced something like that, you feel like, you know, I feel like I'd taken five steps forward and then, you know, after just two weeks off, you know, which, is, which isn't good really, I suppose that would be the, the stern advice, is don't take two weeks off and let the dog run riot. Um, and then expect the first day back on your official schedule for him to understand what's going on because, well, he's still only a puppy. Um, but yeah, that's just a bit of a challenge. I mean, Winston has been has been a challenge, but that's another that's for another story to tell you how how much of a challenge he's been. But so um, so yeah, there we go. Moral of the story is, once you've done your level one or any kind of training, just stick with your training. Um, I think it only took two, two sessions to get him back into it. 
And the only thing I need to work on is the fact that when he is in play mode like this, he doesn't bring the, the tennis ball back. But, you know, there's a bit of a rule of thumb that if you're training a gun dog, that's all it should be doing is gun dog training. But um, I don't know, you know, I have to be realistic of my my goals with him. Yes, it would be ideal to take him on the field, but... You know, that's not going to be his only job. His, only, his job is to be a good family pet as well. It's to be a good a good dog around other dogs as well. So you have to manage your expectations. But he's doing well. He's doing well. And the, uh, the dog trainer says he's doing well as well. So I'll take that away with me. Yeah, all the grass is getting really high now. So, the second topic of today's video are, or is, the second topic is my footwear. I'll just try and show you. So, middle of summer still wearing thick wellies so these are a pair come on you get out of it go on then so these are a pair of muck boots which are a uk company and i think they're a part that there are the the model are um they are a set of outposts Arctic outposts. Um, again, a little bit of a backstory. Uh, last year, we had to move out of our, out of our house because of a, an insurance claim, and they put us up at a farm, which was in the middle of nowhere. And um, my generic boots that I had just wasn't good enough or they were leaking and weren't waterproof so I thought I'd invest in a pair of decent wellies um, I'd heard good reviews of, of muck, poot, muck boots um, there are other companies in the UK well there's loads of companies and I thought I could just go and spend £20 on a pair of Dunlops which would probably be adequate for the time um, but I thought, well, why don't I invest in a pair? And um, hopefully they'll last, well, at least the winter. And um, here I am, in the middle of summer, still wearing them. So I think they are about, in terms of price-wise, they're about £125. Um... And like a lot of websites, you know, you get 10% off your first order and there's free delivery on, you know, anything over £50. I mean, not that there's anything in that, on that website for less than £50. But um, they had a few options. Um, I'll put a link in the description um, to the website and you can have a look, see about investing in a pair. And I remember... Uh, I brought them home and they came, obviously, come in a massive box. And I said to myself, right, I'm keeping that box because if they fall apart, they're going straight back to muck boots. But um, they've fared really well. They're super, super warm. But surprisingly, on a day like today, they're not uncomfortably sweaty. Um, what's Danza doing? What are you doing? Oh, look at you, covered in seeds. Um, and they're just a solid boot. They've got great grip. Uh, they're obviously waterproof. I don't know the exact spec, but what I need to do for the summer is actually invest in a pair of walking boots that don't need to be as, um, I don't know, as durable. They need to be as good, but just not as... Um, not as hefty, should I say, because, you know, they, 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 it's it's good like this morning because there's still some, you can see that they're, they're wet, 
so that they're still they're still um they're still worth it especially but like a day like today if i'd got a decent pair of waterproof walking boots then they'd be just as good but let's walk through here smell something there's loads of pheasants around here oh see we've got nettles again guys oh, let's walk through here get, might see some deer we got some deer here as well some wild deer but look at this place guys it's lovely the thing I like about this is you see this path here like people obviously still walk through here but it's not like a lot of places lately where the path's gone three people deep three people wide now because of like everyone getting out because of covid and stuff like that um so yeah so yeah guys if you're interested in a decent pair of wellies that i would i would recommend and i've checked these over i've had them for i, know, I must have had them for over a year now yeah I must have had them for over a year i had absolutely no issues with them whatsoever um, I think they are a set that will have to be just once they're worn down, they're worn down. It's not like you've got any chance of resolding them. Um, but uh, yeah, you need a decent pair of wellies or Wellington boots. Go and see, uh, go and see mock boots. It's all growing really high now. And the birds are still asleep. I can't hear any can't hear any warning calls because of the dogs being here. And then just before I sign off guys, if you've managed to get this far in the video without getting bored, um, give it a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up. Anybody else dogs in the UK do that? Now that the grass is all nice and green, they start eating it. You know, I've heard loads of theories that they eat it because it's just really sweet. I've heard they eat it because there's a deficiency in their diet. I mean, these guys get fed all sorts of vegetables, so I can't can't imagine it do that, but yeah, they absolutely love eating grass. It's uh... hey, hey, come here, come now, sit, sit, Winston. See, this is training, guys. Sit, he's still a little bit rebellious, kind of wants to do what he wants to do, whereas Dan's as good as gold. Dan's up. Ah, ah. Hey, Winston. See? Ah, ah. Come here. Come. Come on. Good boy. Sit. It's just a little bit ants in his pants, but... Ah, ah, ah. See, that's good. Dan's has obviously smelt something. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a close-up because I've been all over the place lately. Go on, then. Free, free. Come on, Dance. So, guys, I'll sign off there. Thanks for watching. If you managed to watch, um, I don't know how far you got with watching it, but appreciate you watching it. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Just thought I'd start recording again because the birds have finally decided to go mad.
Go on, Dan. Go on, get in. Get in. Out. Ah, ah, ah. Come here. Come here. Out. <laughs> Come on. Sucky dog. <laughs>